let's review what we've learned regarding business cycles. Business cycles are a result of short-term fluctuations in aggregate demand and short-run aggregate supply, which are determined by market forces. Shifts in aggregate demand are mainly due to factors such as consumer and business sentiment, while shifts in short-run aggregate supply are mainly driven by cost factors such as input prices and wage levels. External shocks and changes in technology can also affect demand and supply significantly. Government policies also have significant influence. Monetary policies affect the rate of increase of money supply through instruments like the benchmark interest rate. This can help to shift aggregate demand. Fiscal policies refer to government spending, which has a direct effect on the aggregate demand. Changes in tax rates affect both aggregate demand and short-run aggregate supply. Neoclassical economists believe that the economy has a strong tendency towards full employment equilibrium, so in theory, business cycles should not exist. However, they do acknowledge that changes in technology can greatly affect certain industries that are displaced by the technology, and that can cause limited short-term lowering of aggregate demand, resulting in a recession. Nevertheless, neoclassical economists believe that such recessions are short-lived as unemployment will lower wages, shifting the SRAS curve to the right such that the economy is back to its long-run equilibrium. No intervention is needed from the government. Economists of the Austrian school share most of the beliefs of the neoclassical school. The key difference is that the Austrian economists argue that business cycles are not a result of changes in technology, but misguided interventions by the government. When policymakers force interest rates down to artificially low levels, firms invest too much in speculative lines of production. When these investments turn out poorly, firms must decrease output in those lines, which causes a contraction. As such, Austrian economists believe that government intervention is not just unnecessary, but that it should be avoided altogether. So in essence, Neoclassical and Austrian theories both agree that wages will adjust such that the economy will always return to full employment, so recessions should be short-lived. In practice, however, long and deep recessions like the Great Depression seem to contradict their theories where massive unemployment lasted for several years. The Keynesian economists, while agreeing that neoclassical theory has its merit, argue that it can take a very long time for the market to adjust wages and go back to full employment. This is because wages are inherently downward sticky. That is, many will choose to remain unemployed rather than to accept a pay cut. The Keynesians also believe that the business cycle is the result of swings in market sentiment rather than changes in technology or government intervention. In fact, they argue that for long and deep recessions, Government intervention, particularly in the form of expansionary fiscal policy, is necessary to save the economy. The monetarist school, however, object to the Keynesian recommendation for government intervention for a number of reasons. Monetarists believe that the Keynesians' focus on fiscal policy is misplaced. The Keynesian model fails to consider the long-term harm that can be caused by sustained government budget deficits. Besides, there may be a lag in the stimulative effects of fiscal policy. This may be too slow to prevent an economic crisis from blowing up. Rather than fiscal policy, monetarists believe money supply has the greatest effect on the economy. When the money supply grows too fast, the boom is unsustainable. When it grows too slow, the economy contracts. As such, one of the main culprits of business cycles is the variations in money supply caused by monetary policy. Monetarists recommend that the government should follow a policy of steady and predictable increases in the money supply in order to keep aggregate demand stable and growing. And lastly, the new classical school economists also argue against government intervention as the predictable loosening and tightening of money supply itself can cause a recession as businesses would just wait for easy money to start investing. 
As such, new classical models do not include money, but that business cycles are caused by real factors such as changes in technology and external shocks. Such models are called real business cycle models. New classical economists believe that expansions and contractions represent efficient operation of the economy in response to external real shocks and technological changes. This again is justification that the government should not intervene in the economy. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prep Nuggets, let us do the hard work for you.